that is the sun rising in the east and setting in the west so that's south and as I am no longer drugged that seems to be normal to me yep review the old footage today's to-do list lift it I'm gonna do that first move reactor batteries processing and supplies honestly that body location is bugging me now I think I'm gonna do the lifter and go and see that I think that's gonna to have to be the priority what happens if it's someone in distress I think that's going to be the priority this time, I think. It's got to be. I need to know. I've been thinking about the hopper a little and I'm considering I'm just going to go overboard with thrusters on it might not have the range but it should be able to pick things up and move them I'm thinking some weight here uh, main payload the center that on the front end my fat ass gyroscope antenna remote control hearing that knocking sound and I think it's some kind of woodpecker it's not trees because trees don't make the same sound over and over again it's like four really fast knocks <coughs> excuse me I'm having problems with my breathing at the moment just a residue, I think, of the uh, grass spores. Just because my immune system is now rejecting them effectively. Motors and metal grids. More motors. Temporarily put a panel there, I think. First things first is make sure the battery is turned off and the prop is turned off. Yep. Big whizzing thing above my head. Don't want my head taken off. And before I finish it off, into operation, kneel. That's it. Okay. So we'll double check. Up thrust, yes, don't need down thrust, but I will be adding it just in case. 
forward, backwards, port and starboard. Yes, double check antenna, remote control. I'm going to leave them on just because. There's something else I was supposed to be making, but I can't remember what it was. Okay, batteries are both on. Okay. Uh, not a bad charge, actually. Antenna is on. Broadcast radius as big as it can go. Remote control is on. Hello props are on. Don't tell them out of the way. I'm out access. Nearly. Whoa. Small steel tubes and steel pipes. Drop off if something goes horribly, horribly wrong. Zip bite. Okay, that's going to have a risk of setting fire to my rotors, but. can't be helped. I think I'm going to have to put a cockpit on this. For a very simple reason. Well, two very simple reasons. If I get stuck out in the middle of nowhere, it's warm. And the second reason, and this is probably my favourite one, and the reason I like these cockpits in general, is because just behind this seat here if you twist around and look there's a kettle I can make me cups of tea and coffee okay that's going to be the basics of it it's going to change this is going to go underneath the cockpit purely because in fact I'll do that now after I give it a test fly. Okay, everything's okay, fine.
and then I had to jump in out if anything goes wrong. Uh, okay, that works. Slide left. Right. Forward. Back. Barrel roll. I will now breathe a sigh of relief. I have an hour's fuel on full forward thrust. Interesting. <sighs> Next time someone remind me I've got to check my hydrogen before I do that. That could have been nasty. After careful consideration, I am going to merge it to the bottom of this, if I can. So, just wondering how better to do it. Way too much power. I may have gone overboard. Actually, no, I haven't. So I think I'm going to have to pick up. And I'm not going to overpower, overboard with the power. I'm going to need that kind of power. There we go. Yep. Whoop, too much again. Two years off later. And we turn the power off. It drops. Let's do this fast enough. That. Uh -oh. It's not going to join up. fall to my death, break my legs or do anything nasty and all fly into the propellers so that should come on lock into place
Come on, look into place. I think to do this. Cockpit off. I hope it was went up. There we go. Yes, it merged at last. These are all on and working. We have little cargo containers there and there. Vent to the front, that's what we're missing. Must not forget to the vent to the front. Okay. And the vent is depressurized so it sucks air in from the outside and heats it up. Battery is on. Battery, battery. Consider it to automatically recharge. I uh, will group everything up later. This makes landing a little easier, as I'm not guessing where the middle of the ship is. I have loaded up for food, drink, just in case I'm overnight. I decided not to do solar power panels just because. I've had the thought that this ground cover in here indicates there's ores underneath. Some terraform worlds do have a grass that indicates ores underneath. Strange but too true. Nothing here. Nothing at all here. featureless almost dark This is where I blow up and find out there's a minefield. There's nothing here. Although I had the thought, as I was landing, if there was something here, I still can't do anything about it because I've got nothing for passengers. Would have thought I could have built some pontoons or something, but nope. That would be the common sense thing to do. I'm going to go around this rock nice and slowly. Is easy. Look what we got. It's 
Sounds of a fire fight. I've spent about 10 minutes looking around this and this is a small arms fire. It's the platform, nothing here. No idea what's going on. And mark it just in case. Did they escape? Was this a mining concern that got evacuated? No idea. We'll find out as we go. I checked the radiation levels earlier on and they're not bad. I wouldn't want to swim in it but Most of it's magnetic coils. Now I'm going to put it as well. Guess who left the doors open again? Me! I have to learn security, it's no good. I saw a couple of big elk type creatures, some wolves some birds, nothing major that I didn't know was here already it's just there was three or four different little phantom signals near to that platform I'm going to need to do a good long look I realised I was getting low on energy so I came straight home um, so I don't know what that is yet. I'll find out. Yes, I know. Reactor near the toilet. Eh, happens. Not like the one of the ships I uh, a friend of mine designed. Whereas the reactor was attached to the cockpit that was interesting luckily with modern reactors it's not a huge deal I'll put that low on the list. I've got to tomorrow move batteries, move processing, move supplies. <laughs> 